Hey, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Mandalorian Loyalist as well as the Mandalorian Super Commando. I figured I would do both of these together because they're essentially the same figure, just with two different paint jobs. But as you can see, these come from the Clone Wars and on the front of the box, through the plastic, you can see each figure. They both come with two blasters and they each come with a jetpack. On that side, the front window wraps around. And on that side, you get the beautiful artwork and you can see how the Super Commando's blaster sort of bleeds over into the Loyalist's uh, box. I think that looks awesome. Love that. On the top, you got a small window. The bottom is the barcode and all the stuff that no one ever reads. And on the back, you get the same picture as the side. You get a bio in several different languages and some stuff that no one reads down here at the bottom. And the Loyalist is number four and the Super Commando is number five in this Clone Wars line. I'm gonna get these open and let's take a look at them. Okay, so I got the Loyalist and the Super Commando out of their boxes and let's just take a look at them from head to toe. And I think I'll start with the Loyalist. So this is sort of a blue and gray color scheme. The helmet looks good. It's got some little damage right there, little scuffs. The visor looks nice. All the paint's you know, pretty clean on the visor. Got some little damage up here. The back of the helmet looks like that. All that paint there looks really good. That is interesting. I don't know what that is. The shoulder pads look good. It's got some battle damage there. Got this little bit of red there. Looks really nice. Some little scuffs. It looks really good. Sleeves look good. Got these hoses that are attached. And something tells me that is going to hinder. Well, He's got pretty limited range in the elbows, but that does pull pretty tight there, but you really can't go any farther anyway, so that's a good thing. So on the left side, the gauntlet looks really good. There's no paint, but it's got some nice detail there. And on the right arm, just more of the same. There's no paint, but it does have some nice sculpted detail. And just plain old gloves, nothing special. The belt is nothing special. It just goes around. Same thing. That's what the back of him looks like. The three holes for the jetpack. Yeah, no kind of, you know, detail or anything here. Pants are just kind of a grayish blue pants. Holsters are sort of molded into the thighs and they do move with the swivel. So this part up here is not attached, which is a good thing. Got some little, uh, some wear on the crotch piece there. That must've hurt. Or maybe this protected him. Who knows? And the knee pads. And the shins, yeah, just more of the same. Got some nice detail on the tread there. I think that looks great. I love that. It's a cool figure for sure. It's just a basic Mandalorian, but I think they did a really nice job with the outfit and the, you know, the paint apps here looks really good. Got some battle damage here and there. I think everything looks really nice on that. And moving on to the Super Commando, same figure, just with a different paint job. These little spikes on top are a very soft sort of bendy material. Yeah, so they're not going to stab you or anything. They're very soft. Yeah, but they look good. I think all the paint on the helmet up here looks really nice. There's no stray lines anywhere. I think they did a nice job with that. The chest armor <laughs> kind of looks like a Spider-Man vibe going on there. Got some little spikes on these pauldrons here. And again, those are very soft. More armor. The belt is pretty much identical. The gauntlets are the same on both sides. Again, sculpted detail, but no paint. Got black gloves on the Super Commando. And same deal with the holsters. They're glued down here, so that allows it to move with the leg. It's not attached here, which is, you know, it's a good thing. And got some scuffs on this knee, but not on that knee. It's nice. And kind of the reverse on this, uh, you know, little piece of armor there. And same shoes. And that's what the back of him looks like. Again, there's no detail on his back because I guess they assume you're going to put the jet back on. Same figure. It just has a different paint job. So let's just run through articulation real quick. And I think I'll just do the Loyalist because it's the same figure. They're both going to articulate the same. But the head can go side to side. That's nice and loose. He doesn't have much in the way of tilt. He can look down that far and he can look up about that much. So this show, I forgot to mention this right here, this little red here, it's kind of a nice little detail. Uh, but these shoulder pauldrons will recess into the chest armor and that allows the arms to get up to there and they can rotate around. He has a single jointed elbow and that is all you get. And even though these are pulling kind of tight right here, it's not gonna go anymore. 
He has a swivel right there just above the elbow and the hoses are actually attached at that same point. So they're gonna swivel at the same time as the arm, which is nice. He has a swivel at the wrist. The right hand is hinged side to side and the left hand is also hinged side to side. He has a swivel at the waist. He cannot crunch forward. He cannot go back very far and there's not much in the way of tilt. There's just not much room at all between this armor and the belt. Legs go up, but they go up in a V, and they go out that far. They don't go back much at all. It totally runs into his butt sculpt back here. He has a swivel at the thigh, and again, the holster will move with it. He's got a double-jointed knee that gets up to there. Feet go down that far. They only get up about that far, and they can swivel at the ankle. So just for funsies, I thought I would throw this in there. The Super Commando does have some more tilt, but everything else is pretty much the same. Arms, same deal. Arms, they can rotate around. Same thing at the elbow. It's going to stop right there. Even though these are pulling, that is as far as it's going to go. And everything else is going to be the same. But yeah, that, that's one thing I did notice. There is some more tilt on the Commando, and it could be just the one that I have. And as far as accessories, they each come with a pair of these blasters. This is the Westar 35. They're both identical. The one on the Loyalist is a shiny silver. And the ones for the Super Commando are a little darker. So let's see how they hold these blasters. And it's so nice that they put trigger fingers on both hands. But it's unfortunate that they made the wrists you know, side to side hinge. I really wish they would have made them up and down for gun wielding hands. But that's what the right side looks like. The trigger finger goes right to the trigger guard. Doesn't quite make it through, you know, but that looks good and it's not coming out. And same thing on the left. It goes right in. The trigger finger goes right up to the trigger guard. Almost makes it through. It's very secure. It's not coming out. And I think that's a pretty good look. And same thing on the Super Commando, same blasters, just a little bit darker finish. It goes right in. It's very secure. It looks good. And on the left, once again, oh, these fingers are a little bit tighter. There. It, it goes in wonderfully. There's a trigger finger. Almost makes it through the trigger guard, but it's very secure. It's not coming out. And as far as the two jetpacks, same exact mold, but the Loyalist over here has got some more paint on it. It's got some red. It's got some silver here. It's got some red up here. For the Super Commando, you just have a little bit of red here. The rest of it is pretty much just a sort of metallic gray color. But yeah, those are the two jetpacks. And they both have three pegs, which is so nice that they did three pegs so it can't rotate. Yeah, but that's what those look like. So for the Loyalist, you simply just line up the pegs, and boy, that's tight. Wow. Oh, man. But once it's in, it is in. It is not going to fall off. And that looks good. Yeah, if you're a Mandalorian, you got to have a jetpack. That's a good look. I love that. And same thing for the Super Commando. Just line up your pegs, and wow, that one's even tighter. Mm. There we go. That is in. It is not going to fall out. Now, something I'm noticing... The Loyalist stood up perfectly. The Super Commando, he doesn't want to stand up with the jetpack. It adds a little bit of back weight, even though it's the same figure, same jetpack. You kind of have to lean him forward a little bit. I don't know. It could just be mine, but I don't know. But it does work. And they both look really, really good. So in closing, I am so happy to have these. I think they're both really, really cool. They are nicely detailed. The accessories are okay. I mean, the blasters, yes, they're Mandalorian blasters. They're just, you know, they're very basic. There's not a lot of detail on them. You know, the Loyalists are nice and shiny silver. Super Commandos are a little more of a flat finish. You know, but they look good. I mean, they're accurate to what the Mandalorians were using, you know, the West Star 35s. I think the armor on both look really, really nice. The helmets look good. Like I mentioned, there's some scuffs up here to make it look, you know, battle-worn. The spikes on this one it, are just cool. I love that. And the little spikes on his shoulder pauldrons look really, really neat. You know, but the lower half is very basic, but I think it looks great. I mean, it totally works. You know, the holsters are nice. The little knee pads look good. Shin armor looks great on both. The jet packs both look really nice. Yeah, two awesome figures, 
and I am so happy to have them. So if you like videos like this, please hit like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell. I would certainly appreciate it. And I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on the Loyalist and the Super Commando. Please let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll just see you guys next time.